you know, I have a I have a distinct <laughs> I have a distinct dislike <laughs> for our sponsors who made me call this a bedtime story segment. Um in part because they are annoyingly correct. Obviously, this is a bit sort of segment, right? And we are we are obviously um, doing this because some of our our viewers are unable to sleep properly. <laughs> anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, boys and girls. How are we today? That's right. That's right. We are we are going to have some fun. Is everyone is everyone ready for this excitement? I know I am. Oof. <laughs> so tonight we'll, we'll be talking about the rules, the new rule, proposed rules from the SEC about the regulating, well not regulating, let's say let's let's call it standardizing climate related disclosures. Actually, before we start, let's do some background. Background. Um, uh, SEC has no climate disclosure rules. And so, what does that mean? Well, that means that... Um, oh, actually, give me one more second. Where's my phone? Oh, it's right here. One quick moment. Um... <laughs> well, no, it's it's something slightly uh, more, actually, a lot more prosaic, so not not important. Anyway, so the SEC has no real climate disclosure rules. Companies have been disclosing based on what they think. minimize that there we go and so companies have been disclosing based on what they think and also but that means they just tell whatever they think makes them ESG right and so really that just means greenwashing and so the SEC is coming up with these rules because these rules are necessary uh, we, we want some standardized way of being able to compare and contrast different companies and their climate related disclosures. I think that it, it, it's sort of it's sort of very very fundamental and very basic so I'm not going to go and like discuss why, right? What I will talk about and what I think a lot of our, our boys and girls, well those who aren't in law and those who aren't you know in, in the banks, tend to get confused about is why this is under the purview of the SEC as opposed to something like the environment or trade or or you know any any myriad industry and a myriad of other other um, uh, what do we call them ministries ministry level you know apparatus and and part of the reason is um, actually let me just add it here why SEC, right? So, uh, I thought there was a link, yes. Why SEC? And it's actually, it's actually, to me, it's interesting. I, I don't know why. <laughs> For others. Um, but SEC is about fairness to investors. And that's what makes this um, an SEC problem, because this is a document on standardization, right? This is not regulation on greenhouse gases, carbon, carbino, carbon emissions, or um, pollution. It's not, right? This is merely a, a attempt by the SEC to say, you know, guys, this is... Um, everyone, like all of our big investors, institutional investors, and even some, you know, mom and pop investors are demanding that companies, you know, share their green credentials and talk about their plans for uh, how they're going to deal with climate change. And so 
Oh, that thing still happens. Oh, that's a shame. And so, people when, when investors demand that companies, and 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 when the value actually, let me just add this in here. Valuation dependent. Okay, no, no, no. when the valuation is dependent on the um on these disclosures it becomes important to um make sure that we are comparing properly right and so i feel like there's a nope nope that's not it i want that um uh, i want this yes i uh, we want to compare um but we also don't want to compare um actually let me just wait but we do not to force all companies to report the same thing because that is not the point of the sec right i i think i think we're, we're all clear on that like you don't want a car company to report the same types of like the like a car company has completely different disclosure rules i.e car companies have completely different disclosure ah, points compared to tech right so so obviously you don't you don't want them to 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 compare to each other like, uh, exactly exactly you, you you don't there there are lines that are going to be important for one but completely unimportant for the other so there's no real point to do that so instead what 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 the sec would like is oop, not like that oh come now there we go uh the SEC would like us, if we were to use apples to apples comparison, would like us to compare a Granny Smith apple versus a Golden Delicious apple. <laughs> I knew someone would take it the wrong way. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Um, versus apples to oranges currently. Right, because currently the the companies really they they're just making stuff up anyway. Well, okay, no, <laughs> that's being irresponsible. They're not making stuff up, but what they're doing is they're picking and choosing the things that they really like, and then they're only talking about those things. And there's no there's no um like obviously in the past or currently you can sue these companies if they tell you the wrong thing, but that it it, it is. It is a much different lawsuit compared to once the SEC rules are in place, um, uh, because because once the SEC rules are in place, um, one second. So once the SEC rules are in place, then when the lawsuits do come, they come in a much more, um, shall we say, <laughs> I can't say that word, that is, that is bad, but yes, that's, that's the case. It comes in, it comes much more firmly, right? Because suddenly you have, you have all of these disclosure rules on a, available to you that a disgruntled, a disgruntled investor can use to sue companies for securities fraud, as opposed to... <laughs> <laughs> right so so uh, <laughs> um there is a i guess i guess this could be called a meme this this is this will be the only meme that i know um uh, there is a meme out there that that essentially goes uh everything is securities fraud you know uh our our boy matt levine is uh so is sort of like the the the, the consistent harper of this and and it kind of makes sense, especially uh, and and so this obviously only applies to America, where most of us are based. Um, essentially, what that means is, uh, with everything, is securities fraud is that because securities fraud is very, um, it's a very easy to see event, right? So if if someone that represents the company says something, 
and then the stock price drops and then it later proves that whatever they said was turned out to be not true then that is securities fraud just straight up right like beep, 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 because you're giving out public information and that information turns out to be untrue and therefore you um you how do i how do i say this you have essentially lied to your investors and therefore your investors can then go to the sec and sue you for securities fraud well not go to the sec you know what i mean <laughs> They, they use rules established by the SEC to sue for securities fraud. And, and, and so that's why this is important for investors, the, this kind of rules, this kind of rule, right? Because, oh, what the hell is that? Oh, right, I, I forgot about this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave that off to the side. There we go. Yeah, and that's why this kind of stuff is important because once this framework, once this legal framework is in place, um, and as we'll as we'll see when we actually talk about the document, actually, <laughs> I have I have the full thing here, but we're not going to get through all four hundred pages today, right? Like, I can I can four hundred sixty five based pages today, so I th I think we can barely get through the fact sheet today at this rate. But I suppose that's that's fine. That's enough. Um, sorry, the the point I was laboriously trying to come to is that once the SEC has proposed the rules and once the rules are in place, um, that actually means that the climate is an issue that 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 these companies have to take seriously because they cannot just spew out. You know, you know, you know, like without these these kinds of standardization in place, companies can say things that their lawyers can then massage, right? Like we've all seen in our in the private server, our our our, our lawyer boys and girls having the time of their lives <laughs> simply because I I don't have, uh, or we don't have many regulations within the server about uh, about. Uh, token usage and stuff so like our, our lawyers are having the time of their lives within the server and, and 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 that's partially you know that's obviously that's what you pay a lawyer for you want your lawyers to be aggressive and in in, in your face and very very smart um but that's besides the point uh es essentially in the past <laughs> yes yes i'll get to the point with the sec being hands off lawyers couldn't massage the, this message over and over and they, they they can do a lot of very interesting things to 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 make something sound a lot better than it actually was whereas with the standardization in place uh you'll yes you'll grow a a a, a sector of essentially esg lawyers not esg ghg lawyers that help companies target their statements to the sec sec standards but but to me, that's actually, that's, that's the cost, right? Like, like you're supposed to have, I mean, obviously, obviously the SEC is not regulating. And so therefore companies don't actually have to change anything about what they're doing with this rule, all in terms of actually making money, but in terms of bureaucracy and organization, it, it does mean not an extra layer, just a, a new sort of position where when when you put out your statements you have to have uh, you have you have to put put out your statements in a responsible way right just like you have say for example a chief 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 chief, chief human resources like like head of human resources or no no that's not a head of marketing right you have a head of marketing that makes sure that your company is is talking all, about all the right things with the right tone now you need excuse me Ah, it's fine. Not important. I don't think. Hold on, give me one second. I wonder what's happening here. Huh. Okay. <laughs> we should be okay. Um. What was I saying? Right. Uh. And then no, no, just just the computer thing. Um. 
so before you, you you just need an extra person to make sure that when you put out your annual, annual statements that that the, your your legal officer has sort of more control over the the ghg side of things right that's that's really legal and marketing yes 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 and so that's that's the point and by doing this as we will see when we go down this document um we will we will start yeah yeah i, I was just about to get there by by forcing companies to think about this i think there is an additional sort of thought there that essentially means that you know if you if you force companies to 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 think about this and to to talk about how they've thought about this you know some companies will actually think about it where it, but 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 again that's not the point of this uh disclosure related uh, standardization it's the 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 rules simply say that you have to think about it and you have to tell us how you thought about it right and that's that's all and that's all well and fine if if all you say is we haven't thought at all and these are and these are uh, uh, like if if we calculate carb carbon this is how we calculate it blah and that's it that's perfectly fine what the sec is then banking on oh i should or not what the sec is banking on i shouldn't even say that um the downstream effect we should say this downstream effect is that um with disclosures in closures in place companies will think a little bit more about uh, climate and in turn mm, investors can push companies about climate and so and so yes you can see why there are some people who think that this is an indirect regulation of a climate regulation of companies but but the the spirit of the rule is not that the spirit of the rule is simply if we go back to uh here the spirit of the rule is this right let me just link these the spirit of the rule is that the sec really is mostly concerned about fairness to investors that all of the companies that talk about their their uh, climate related issues are talking about it in such a way that is responsible they're not just pulling stuff out of their well lawyered ass right that's that's all anyway <laughs> yes i'm i'm aware i spent you know 18 minutes talking about this um We'll presumably we'll fly through some of these because once we cover all these points we can we can just like lump them in together so uh any questions before i start that is a good question so the question was um once the sec rules are in place does that mean that all companies have to start thinking about it uh no if if you've never thought about it before uh, let's let's see um if you've never th okay let, let me rephrase that you don't have to change how you deal with um uh, how you would factor in climate change into your business but you have to say uh well i mean we're, we're getting exactly to this right so uh oversight governance of climate risk, blah 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 let, let me just do this you have to do this obviously Oops, i don't want that um i'm not even going to copy all of these because it really is like this is the key oops no i don't want that this is the key right you can literally say no you can say if is a a question Oops. question i still have a finger broken let me just gently remind you of this right so when i type type weirdly see 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 i'm trying to pre pre uh, preempt that kind of bullying but it's anyway if it's 
if actually I'm going to beginning if is a question with a yes or no answer. So companies can choose to say no. Right? And and it's perfectly legit for them to do so, right? You you absolutely can if you want to, you can say no. But then we get into sort of this idea um, of if you say no, what happens with the, with the disclosures, right? The, once the disclosures are in place, and and uh, you you know your investors know that you've said no, then they'll they'll have they'll I mean your 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 ESG investors will presumably want your stock less and therefore that will drive down your stock price blah blah you know and and and, and so and so the idea is to let the free ish market determine the stock price and, and therefore the value of companies that focus more or less on ESG right and obviously um we this this has certain uh benefits to bigger and smaller companies and We'll, we'll, we'll talk about a little bit of that, yes. So, <laughs> uh, oversight and governance. Uh, so, what you do have to, um, blah 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 blah. Um, I'll just drop this down here. You know, you know, essentially what this means. I'm not even gonna bother, right? So. Essentially, the the idea is quite quite simple. Let's see. Uh, move on. So, what what exactly do you have to talk about? You have to talk about these six. So, scope one, scope two, and scope three. Uh, hold on, one second. I haven't actually read this yet, so you're going to have to <laughs> you're going to have to bear with me for a second. And purchased electricity. There, there we go. Okay. So what you have to re report is a best effort guess, right? Um, you have to report both a best effort guess of your own use. Of, car, uh, of of energy and of the energy used by the power that you actually buy. So that's scope one and scope two. <sighs> and scope three is your value chain. So both downstream and upstream say you have um, you have mining interests or, or upstream you have mining interests in Russia. You know, just take a completely random country that has obviously nothing to do with anyone right now. Um, say you have mining interests, or sorry, your suppliers have mining interests in Russia. And so you will have to, you know, make a best guess effort at, um, at figuring out the carbon that they, that they release. But, um, oh, and I think this is not in here. No, I don't think this is in here. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to actually use. Like it's 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 not a very arduous guess. You can you can use equivalents and then just do a very, very shall we say rough calculation of of all of these things. So. It's it's trying to impose rules to get everyone into the same because because most of you are American into the same ballpark right into the same range so that you can do this what do we call it uh, Granny Smith versus Golden Delicious comparison as opposed to trying to compare an apple to a watermelon orange I think yes orange is what I said. Um, <laughs> Well, so 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 that's actually a good, good good point. Um, so let's let's talk about this just real quick, right? Because there is there is a spirit and hope here. Um, when 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 you ask your entire value chain to disclose 
their their energy use right in in this sort of like the scope three um case there 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 is a and again we come to this sort of divide that we've been seeing about people who say that this is the sec shadow regulating carbon or anything like that the idea isn't that the idea really is um is to bring disclosure out and and for for a lot of people who think that this is shadow regulation they 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 are kind of very they have a very clear idea that once people start being forced to disclose about their carbon carbon uh, like climate climate related um ideas then more people would shift towards esg excuse me more people will sh- shift towards more environmental companies and more envir- environmental companies will be worth more and therefore that'll that'll be bad for those companies that are less environmental but that isn't um that isn't the point of these rules that might be the spirit of these rules it's to it's to put it to once again actually let me just do one real one thing real quick um it's about this, right? It's about fairness once again. It's it's, and if 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 we look at the way that the SEC operates, even with hundreds page hundreds and thousands of pages of regulation, at the end of the day, it is all about fairness to investors. The SEC tries to make sure that investors are ad- adequately protected from uh, mean spirited capitalists and. I mean, America knows very well about mean-spirited capitalists, right? Like this was the home of the rail, railroad tycoon and their company towns and all of that. So it, it, if I if I'm completely honest, I'm I'm a huge fan of the SEC. <laughs> just compared to just compared to some of the other, um, other countries that exist, the SEC is sort of this, this very interesting but also very far-reaching um, thing that is at once sort of protective, but also quite libertarian, if, if we think about it, right? Because like that that's the point of this, right? Of, of this document. It all it's saying is that you have to come you have to make sure that you're talking about things in a way that most uh, shall we say most dedicated investors can understand and that is all all this document is saying it's just that the downstream effect of it oh yeah i should i should i should add that in oh uh downstream effect is a focus on not a focus is a slow shift towards more environment mental companies right and 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 yeah so so exactly exactly it 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 just deals with the money but it deals with the money in such a way that it is able to encourage you know like i I don't want to say call it good behavior but it, it deals in a it makes sure that when the market wants to encourage good behavior, that the market is in the position to do so. Let me write that down. The SEC, therefore, um, ensures that when the market wants to encourage what it con- uh, thinks is good behavior, that it has the ability and understanding to do so. Right, because if you don't have the understanding, then you cannot. It's it's simply impossible for you to encourage good behavior if you don't know good behavior. So that's why standardization is important, and that's why you you have this good behavior, right? Uh, really, all of these these things are just not not interesting, not important. Don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the last part of this fact sheet, and really all it tells us is that um, fiscal year 2027 is when things have to be uh, 
have to be in place, right? Like for uh, for 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 from the majority of co uh, of people that need to do the reporting. So what it's saying is that we essentially still have it's twenty two. So we have five years to go on this, and 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 I think I think that's honestly that's that's a pretty fair time. Right, so <laughs> we are almost at the half hour mark. So let's uh, let's gently remind ourselves about what's what we've accomplished here today, or or more likely, <laughs> if anyone has any questions, please ask now or forever hold your peace. I don't know; it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sh I'm sure we'll have enough conversation about this going forward. So, questions. Uh. Well, so that's what, that's what, that's what, oh, I don't want to do this. Mm. That's what, um, let's see. That's what this part is about. So, you'll notice that, um, you'll notice that we have scope one and two and then it doesn't talk about scope three because that's part of what limited assurances is about right so it's saying essentially that by 2000 by fiscal year 2023 which is in 2024 which you file in 2024 um that you have to have a good idea of what your uh disclosure is for scope one and scope two and scope one and two are purely internal Right, scope one and two are only about uh, the the carbon that's used in your in 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 your company. So say say you you are a mining company or your steel making company. The steel making company talks oh, would be like the the carbon that is used in in actually making the steel and then the energy that's required to run your blast furnaces, all of that good stuff. And so for 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 large companies it's it's earlier than for smaller ones and and partly that's just um down to the fact that large companies can hire more but also that they then set precedents for smaller companies to actually to actually hang on to or, or like hang off of right so like it's it's i'm not i'm not going to say that law is a close knit circle obviously um but there there is enough uh there that essentially when you force large companies to do it first that expertise then moves on and and is beneficial to smaller companies and that's that's the point of this uh and so you know when when it says limited assurance let me actually just do that uh so when it says limited assurance uh that means you know you have to be in compliance basically for uh, scope one two three and and that you you should start to take responsibility for your words essentially right like so by 2023 uh, or fiscal year 20, uh, 23 companies have to start disclosing by 24 you have to be reasonably confident about everything that you're saying obviously like you can't be lying in 23 and then moving on to completely like the uh, the, the reality in 24 that would you would get sued so hard, <laughs> right? Obviously, it, it, it's just that um, it, it, it's essentially implementation steps, right? You, you're taking baby steps between uh, doing all of these. And so by t fiscal year 26, big companies are supposed to at least have a good general good idea of what their value chain looks like for the, um, for the carbon emissions. And part of that also is it gives companies time to push their value chain to give them an accurate number or or, or, or best effort. Number. Let's 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 put it that way. Actually, let me let me note that down. So we'll take this. We'll move it down to um. And then we'll give it a child. Helps. Companies, well, or rather, no, let's say gives companies time to push their value chain for their own 
best effort in numbers. And the idea there is then that once you have this in place, and yes, I know we're done. Uh, let me just put this in place. Um, da, 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 da. This will essentially push the rest of the value chain also into this sunlight sunlit up lens of you know proper uh, proper and fair ish disclosure right yes and that's it for today <laughs> good evening which are you unfortunately you join us just as we uh just as we are ending um this was <laughs> For 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 our sponsor who forced me to um, call this a bedtime story, is this a bedtime story? I feel like this could actually be a bedtime story <laughs> uh, about how how the great prince, or no, not the great prince, the great um, hmm, the I was gonna say the great prince SEC, but obviously SEC is not boy. Um, the great, the great, the great, the great knighthood of the SEC has uh, ridden forth and gotten rid of and, and slayed dragons of um, of murkiness. The, uh, has slain the dragons of darkness that kept us from being able to understand how uh, com <laughs> how companies value their carbon emissions. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Um, you know, uh, if, I mean, we, we have an entire 500-page document. If if you are all interested, I have to read this. So I, I could totally turn this into a bedtime story segment. I mean, if I have to read this. <laughs> right, anyway, we're done here. So let me say once again, thank you very much for watching. In conclusion, please download Firefox. Please don't do Chrome. And good morning, Quitch, again. And uh, I, am I missing anything? No, I'm. We're good. We're good. Okay. Bye now.